hello. This is definitely an odd angle, but this is where we are right now. I got some really exciting mail, some of it book related, so I wanted to open it on camera. I don't know what this one's gonna be. Oh, we have to put it together. So I got a book valet and I have to figure out how to put it together. I specifically got one with like a little ledge so I could put chapstick on it. Whoa! There we go. Gosh, I am so excited to start using this. Oh my God. Okay, that was package one, package two. Why did they send me two of these? I got a bunch of like little journals with prompts. But they sent me two, so perhaps I can give this one away. I don't think I ordered two, I need to double check. Then I got my check from work. Oh, beautiful. And finally, I ordered another notepad from All Things Lillian. It's where I get all of my stationery. She's been out of a lot of stickers lately and a lot of stationery, but I was able to get something. They always give like a cute little thank you, which is always so pretty. And it would be a little sticker. But that's all in the mail. Good morning. It is Monday, March 18th today. And I have a really exciting day. I don't have to go see my trainer this morning. She's out of town, but she still wants me to go on my run. So I'm about to go do that. I'm gonna listen to the most recent Christy and Kelly podcast while I do that. And then I'll have a little bit of time beforehand to either get some reading done or play webkins. I'll probably play webkins because I have plans later tonight and I might not get to do it, but we're going to read Malibu Rising next. I'm super, super, super excited. I'm also in the middle of What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall, only started the first chapter and I'm probably just gonna read Malibu Rising first. You know, it's like, you know, it's like, I know I'm gonna love a TJR book, but also I know I'm gonna love a Kate Alice Marshall. It's like, if I am in the mood for a thriller or a romance. And I mean, I don't even know if Malibu Rising is a romance because none of her books so far have really been specifically romance. They've been more like literary fiction, history, things like that. But yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly just want to get back into the McRiva universe, but I'm gonna go on my run and then I have my massage and Cairo stuff today. And I will link where I get my massages down below because you need to check them out if you are in the Hamilton County area or surrounding areas because my massage therapist is amazing. So yeah, let's go do our day. Just got out of my massage. It was amazing, like always. You guys really have to go check out Hannah and Caleb. They're wonderful, but I need to get peanut butter while I'm over in this area because I eat all that peanut butter every day. So let's do that. Just got home for the day and the plan is to listen to the Allison podcast with headphones, make sure that it's good to go so I can export it put it up on my computer and listen to it on different speakers. And then once I think it's good to go, I will send the link to Allison so she can view it. And then if there's no changes that need to be made, I can go ahead and schedule it. Good morning, it is the next day. Today is a very busy day. I need to go get my teeth cleaned for someone's project or like class assignment for dental hygiene. They have to clean people's teeth. So I'm gonna go do that and then either go to the grocery store or get my nails done. It just depends on what I have time for because at 4.30 I'm meeting Anya for dinner and then whatever I don't get done before then I'll be doing after. So either pedicure or grocery store. So let's enjoy the day. So I just got out of my cleaning. She got a lot more done than she expected to get done. So we have one more appointment scheduled for Thursday and she should be done with me. But I have two hours until I have to go meet Anya, so pedicure time! Just got done at the nail place. That's what I went with. It's so pretty. Um, I have about 30 minutes until I'm meeting Anya. Not enough time to go grocery shopping, but I will do that 
on the way home. So I'm just gonna get to the parking lot a little bit early and sit in the car and read. I did not realize Malibu Rising is kind of a Carrie Soto sequel. So now I'm just gonna have to read that book too. So I am about to be super late for work. It's 10, normally I don't start getting ready for work until about 10, but I completely forgot that my mom's out of town and I have to feed the cats and change the litter this morning and I have not eaten. It's 10.06 and I have to be there at 10.30 and it's 10 minutes away. Yay! Good morning, I'm about to leave for work, but I finally got up to page 55 in this book and I want to make an early prediction and say that, God, my hair looks awful. <laughs> I'm taking this out. Um, I want to say that Cody did it because like, like with the writing style, it's obvious, but also the podcast guy just asked her, like, you never saw Stahl, so like, why did you accuse him? So... Yeah, no, I want to I want to say Cody did it because she had a big crush on him and it's usually that guy that does the thing. So I'm going to go to work and then, yeah, later today I'm going to go on a run and then read more of that book. Okay, so I totally planned to go to work, come home, go get dinner with my dad and come back and read. And I did get a chance to read before work and then I read in the car on the way to the restaurant. But then my boss called me at the restaurant and asked if I could come back in because somebody didn't show up to work. And so I went back and I made lots of money today. So that was nice. So now it's 10 o'clock and I'm showered. I'm exhausted. My legs hurt so bad. Don't do squats if you're not properly stretched. But I'm going to play Webkins and then... If I feel up to it, read some more, but I'm not gonna hold myself to it. But yes, tomorrow I'm gonna go see Ghostbusters for one reason, for only one reason. Yeah, see you tomorrow. I am almost halfway through What Lies in the Woods. I am super, super convinced that Ethan is Stahl's son. Like, that's just how I'm feeling. But I'm super tired. I'm going to read a couple more chapters of this and then go to bed. And I'm not going to update you again tonight unless something crazy happens in this book. Reese's in my little bed. She's so pretty. Good morning. I read a little bit more last night and then fell pretty quickly to sleep. But I read a few more chapters this morning and I'm about to go on a two mile run and then shower, do all that. And then I plan to finish this book today i don't know why i wouldn't finish this book today because i don't have to go to work you know reese's gonna help me aren't you re you gonna help me read yeah she's being all cute i will see you on my run good morning i've got my breakfast i've got my book and the goal is to finish this before i leave for work today because i only have that much left so I have to leave for work for like an hour and 15 minutes, so I should get done with it because I have two more book of the month to read before my next books of the month come in. And I've got like a week until April. <laughs> but I will say I did order Pucking Wild. Like they released like a deluxe version because I've never read it. I keep skipping those chapters in volume two of Pucking whatever the fuck. But <laughs> love it so when that comes in i guarantee you i will literally cancel all my plans it will drop everything just to do it but let's read so i finished what lies in the woods this morning it was absolutely crazy okay like you would not expect the ending i was right about your spoilers um i was right about ethan being stall's son um but I was very wrong about who attacked Naomi. 
Now, pieces are believable. There's seeds there, but I could not put them together. Then tonight, in the middle of the game, intermission time, I attempted to read The Handmaid's Tale, but there's no punctuation or direct quotes. So I will not be reading it. I will try to listen to it, but I cannot read a book that does not have punctuation for direct quotes because, I mean, I was a journalism minor, so like, I basically got a degree in grammar and it's like, I know when I'm reading direct quotes, it's meant to be read in a different um, sentiment, I guess, than regular words. Like, they hit a little differently, so it's very hard to unlearn everything I learned. But Malibu Rising is what I'm going to be finishing up next, and then Love on the Brain. Pucking Wild is supposed to come in the mail soon, and I guarantee you when that comes in, I will drop every single book to read that one. But this video has gone on long enough, so I will see you in the next reading vlog.